Hi, thanks for joining me today for this screencast. We're going to have a quick look at how to get started using Roastmaster with the Be More 1600. Roastmaster has a number of great features that really help you get the most out of this uh, great little home roaster. If your roaster definition inside the app is properly defined, you'll be able to view the actual heat curve that the BMOR is applying to the beans inside the roasting chamber, as well as perform the same time shifts to that curve that you can on the machine itself. You'll also be able to easily find and display past rows that exactly match your current roast, or find rows that are similar and get an idea of how your cupping scores change as you experiment with the BMOR settings. But best of all, it's really easy to get started. So let's have a look. All we need to do is to create a Be More Roaster definition. So we'll go to Utilities, then Roasters, and tap the Add button to get the Roaster Setup Assistant. Now, we can see a lot of common roaster types here, both professional and home models. For the Be More 1600, it's best to let Roastmaster configure it for you. That way, it will automatically create the profile, program, and weight settings you're going to need while you're roasting. So we just tap the Be More 1600 row, and we are done. Here is our new roaster, and we can see that we have everything we need to get started. We have our five profiles, P1 through P5, our four programs, A through D, and finally, we have a custom setting type called weight with the three settings that are on the beam more, a quarter pound, half pound, and a full pound. So we can dismiss this, and we are ready to roast. Before we create our roast, though, I want to take a second and quickly switch over to another database that already has a lot of past roast data. So you'll be able to really see how all of these settings fit together when you have a library of past roast to work with. So we'll go back to the home screen and I'll swap our database and we're ready to roast. So make a new roast and I'll save this so you can see it all full screen and start with our roasted item, in which case I think today we'll do Sumatra. And I always do 400 grams at the one pound setting. And I roast mostly for espresso, and one B more combination that I really like is the P4 profile and the D program. So we'll start by setting our roaster to the B more, then our profile to P4, our program to D, and finally, don't forget about our custom weight setting, set that at one. Now, with all of these three set, you can see that Roastmaster has given us a control curve that's gonna exactly match the heat curve the BMOR itself is using inside the roasting chamber at these roaster settings. So to get a darker roast I always perform time shifts on this particular combination. When you perform time shifts just remember to apply the same shifts to the Roastmaster curve that you apply to the machine itself. Since Roastmaster follows the same rules as the 1600 it will provide an accurate representation of the real heat curve the BMOR is using internally. And it's worth noting that the BMOR 1600 applies time shifts differently depending on whether you perform them before or during a roast. Applying them before will scale the entire curve as a unit, in other words all the legs equally, but if you apply them during a roast it's only going to scale the last leg. So we'll be doing four time shifts before the roast starts and two while it's in progress. So we just select the curve and you can see that the graph scale buttons have turned into time shift buttons and we apply our first four time shifts and we're ready to start. Just tap the start button here in Roastmaster as you start the roast on the Be More 1600 and we're off. Now we just need to perform our two remaining time shifts as we apply them to the roaster and we're ready to sit back and wait for first crack. So, why bother with recording all this data? Well, because it will help us track which combination of machine settings are working the best. Notice the graph here. We have 644 pass rows, but we don't really care about most of them. We just want to see the rows that are similar to our current rows. So, let's have a look at only the rows we've done with the BMOR. Select the Roaster Criteria button, 
And 219, okay, getting better, but we can refine this a lot further by finding only the ones in which we've used this particular profile, program, and finally custom weight setting combination. So 81 rows, there we go. Now we can see uh, our first crack times, our second crack times, so we know exactly when to expect these milestones to occur. And let's go ahead and set an alarm to remind us to be ready for the crack times so we can record them in this rows. So we'll tap the alarm button and I think about 1830 will be good. There we go. So we're about there and with a few magic video edits we can record first crack, and second crack, and finally conclude the roast. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you've enjoyed the screencast and that it's given you a clear picture of how to use Roastmaster with the BMore 1600. Please do check back often. We'll be adding a number of screencasts in the very near future to help you get the most out of using Roastmaster.